Hey guys, Nightrail here, and today I'm going to be looking at this. It's an R5-220. It was released by AMD in 2014. Uh, this version, which only has 1 gig of VRAM, and it's DDR3, not even GDDR5 or anything like that. It only supports up to DirectX 11, but that's enough to run the latest games. And only OpenGL 3.2, which isn't that new, but should work. Um, doesn't even support 4K, but yet it supports Crossfire, two of them at max. Uh, it's only got 80 stream processors, it's just not a good card. And I have the box here, and it's, all the stuff on the back is reading, like, Ultra Multimedia Experience, and Ultimate, um, wait, where's this, it says something about realistic details and it supports dual monitors okay yeah blu-ray and it lists AMD PowerPlay twice on the box okay and on this box it says 4.3 but on AMD's website it only supports up to uh, OpenGL 3.2 and it's just and also it's showing tessellation here as one of its marketing things and what it shows tessellation doing is making an object more detailed but that's not what tessellation does tessellation only cuts the polygons in half it's another option that makes it look more realistic so technically that's not really supporting anything and this card doesn't have a fan and it's just kinda crap. Uh, if you just needed it for more monitors then you're perfectly fine. Uh, this guy has a VGA uh, HDMI 1.2 I believe and a dual link DVI. And I'm gonna put this in and I'm going to record my screen and show you guys what happens when I try to run games. Do I think it'll work? Yeah, it'll open them up. It supports the rated latest APIs. Will it run them well? Probably not. So I'll see you in a second. Okay, so I've gotten into Windows, downloaded the latest drivers, which I wouldn't really call latest drivers because they're legacy drivers that AMD released, which is really nice. So I'm going to go through uh, four games, Minecraft, GTA, Mass Effect Andromeda, which is probably the most demanding out of all of them, and CSGO. I feel like that covers a pretty wide range of different types of games. Minecraft, lower end open world. GTA, older, but still very played open world. Mass Effect, newer, really nice looking games, and CSGO as the competitive side. So that would probably take away a little bit less if you're going for Overwatch or anything like that. So, I feel like we should go Minecraft first. Now, I've tried to do this once, and since I was trying to run games in full screen, my recording screen capturing thing did not like that for some reason. So I went in and turned all those games into windowed mode, and I could just put it on to 1080p. So what I've noticed so far is that this card is fine with browsing it would seem and just normal windows like maybe microsoft word and stuff now gaming here minecraft on the lowest setting six chunks loaded i believe running at about 40 frames the stuttering i believe is my recording uh software but i haven't tested that i would assume since the game thinks it's running pretty smoothly but it's a constant stutter if that's actually the card. So it's not optimal, but you could definitely play the game like this. Um, I'm pairing it with an FX6300, as you can see on the right side. Um, I'm just going to fly here for a bit and see if this drops at all. Although this game is mostly a CPU bound game. Although on this, with my 750 Ti, which I use as my daily driver. 
8 gets about 120 average on the highest settings. So, yeah, this is... Looks like you're gonna stay about 40 frames, so definitely playable experience. Um, let's move on to Andromeda. Okay, so I loaded up the game, and I have it in window mode. I'm thinking that this is probably about, I don't know, less than 720p, I believe this is. Maybe 720p. It doesn't give you a reading on what f uh, resolution you're running at if you put it in window mode. But 14 FPS at the main menu. Not a good sign. But I say we try to. I want to check on thermals actually. So this is seems like it's very intensive on the card. Yes, usage up to 99%. Temperature only getting up to 56 so far. What about my CPU? I'm guessing that it's... Oh, it is being used about 99%. I'm assuming some of that's going towards the recording, though. Um, but I'm surprised that it's only getting to 56 degrees. Okay, well... Okay, well, the FPS is steadily dropping, it looks like, down to 6. Yeah, that's taking forever to, for it to even realize my cursor moved. Okay, well let's tr let's try to resume my game, shall we? If if it would go back, okay. Oh no, not new game. Did it click on new game? No. Oh. Uh, this is on the lowest settings, I believe. I will check that uh, in a second actually, to make sure. Loading screens, it does okay. 80 frames per second. My monitor is 75 hertz, so I'm seeing all the frames here. <laughs> Very nice. If you want to look at loading screens, I believe this is the card for you. I, I don't suggest just looking at loading screens, but, you know, if that's what you want to do. Oh, okay. Well, it looks like this is going to take a second, so I'll come back once it's loaded. Okay, well, I got into the game. Um, pause screen. 12 frames. I guess that's better than what we were doing on the home screen. I guess. Oh. Okay, yeah, this isn't playable, but it's openable. Wait, I want to make sure this is on the lowest settings possible. No, not exit to desktop game. Okay, settings. Uh, graphics. If it would get there. Film green off. Chromatic al al alteration off. Low. Oh, what? I have FXAA on. Okay. Well, that that probably hurt. The. Oh, oh! Did it freeze? No. The 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 medium. No. Bad shadows. Bad. Low. Low. Low, low. Okay. Yes. Okay. No? Is it any better at all? wonder how long it'll take me to open this door and stuff. Oh, and PB's not in here, but Pock is. And, okay, well, I think we've determined the answer for this game. No, don't buy this card for Andromeda. 
Although if you're fine with 6 frames per second, then go ahead. As for comparison, my 750 Ti with those settings that you saw with FXAA and the medium shadows, uh, 900p full screen, I get about 70. So, okay. Well, to the next game we go. Okay, so I got into CSGO and it defaulted me to some settings. I put it on to 1600 by 900 windowed. Other than that though, it defaulted me to high and very high, which I, I don't trust. Let's go low, because I feel like that's what, I've heard that that's what most people play at. Multi-core rendering, uh, yeah. Low, higher frame rate, but with lower visual quality? How does that work? I don't know. Um, I'm gonna go with no AA right now, and 4x anti-strophic filtering. FXAA, mm, no, no. VSync, obviously no, and motion blur, no. Okay. Should be good. Okay. Uh, is this going to run a game of... Actually, let's go on to bots to make this faster. Let's just go... Yeah, arms race random. Uh, sure, easy bots. Failed to find a dedicated server, but we don't need a dedicated server. Okay, that worked. It worked that time, apparently. Hmm. It's taking long time to load. A lot longer than my other card. Yeah, this is... Oh, it's not responding. Are we even going to get into a game? <laughs> well, I'll be back if it ever loads into a game. Okay, so I got into a game. Finally, took forever. And this is not great. At all. Uh, oh god. Yeah, I could not play like this. Um, I'm gonna try the turning down the settings a little bit more, maybe. The little bit more than they, that they can go down. Um, very low, uh, bilinear, um, that's about it, until I'm, I start, uh, downing the, uh, resolution, which, you don't really want to go below 16 over 900 on this game without, uh, anti-ASLE. Uh, okay, this, that didn't help much. Up to 20 frames, I, competitive, I wouldn't even bother with this. Um, let's try 720p, because, oh, no, this isn't what I wanted to go into. Video settings, 720p? Maybe this'll help? Now, obviously, if you were doing this, you'd put it in full screen as well. Oh. It's a lot smoother. This is, this is playable now. 
a good playable? No, but a, a playable, definitely. Okay, well, I suck. Yeah, okay, that's definitely playable. Would I recommend it? No. Again, I don't really recommend this card. I just want to see how it held up. And obviously not very well. How about during that? What temperature did we get to here? 60? Um... I guess that's okay. I mean... Mm, that's starting to get up there without a fan. I did replace the thermal paste on this just to give it a little bit more leeway. I thought that would help, and it definitely did, because it before it was idling at like 50 degrees instead of 40. So, I guess the last game to try is GTA 5. So, I'll be back. Okay, so I opened up GTA, and main screen at 800 by 600, 30 FPS. I think this is on the lowest settings. I think it would uh, automatically go to the lowest settings. Decent, why are you on? No. Okay, actually, 60 FPS. It looks. Um, normal, high. Yeah. Uh, sharp, normal, off. Yeah, okay. I don't know why I wanted to go high, uh, reflection quality. And it's graphics, that's all off. Um, I say we try to push this to 768. Just so I can see it a little bit better. Um, yeah. I managed to open up GTA as well. So this has surprised me uh, that all the games that I've tried, so far at least, uh, that I'm going to try this uh, video have worked, at least. Somewhat. I wouldn't say they worked amazingly like uh yeah so and we go out here and it's 12 fps okay no turn that off no Oh no. There. Okay, hopefully that was less than 8 seconds. Yeah, not very playable. Uh uh. No. Maybe that 800 by 600 really was holding it. Um. See here. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Somewhat. <laughs> I mean, it went up like four frames. But speeding through Los Santos, it's not a very good... Oh, I hit a person without even trying to. Speeding through Los Santos, just this isn't a pleasant experience. Now, if I were to stop and, like, get out and go into this not go into the garage thing, but just stare at the wall over here. Let's go into first first person. Just stare at this corner. 25 frames. That's playable. Uh, so GTA, if you want to stare at a corner, you're all good with this card. But I think that pretty much wraps up this whole card. Uh, don't get it if you're planning on playing any game that's pretty much higher than CSGO. Uh, 
Overwatch on that hand, I wouldn't really recommend either. I don't have it. But I would assume that... I'm pretty sure that it's more demanding than CSGO, and CSGO barely runs at 720p. You'll have to go below 720p for that game. It's not worth it. $30? No. But if you're in the market, if you just have like a pre-built system, and it's running off of integrated graphics, <coughs> like I had, but from a couple years ago, this card could help you. But I suggest just saving up a little bit more and getting like an RX 560 or a 550 by that on that matter, or like a 1030 GTX 1030, one of those two. There are way better options for yes, more, but not so much that I would say it's not worth it at all. But I'll see you guys in the next one.